and this World Health Community, what is it exactly? Well, what is it exactly? It, 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 we wrote a book together, the three yeah. of us, so yeah. Robert and Tim and I, that was published in 1990, Beliefs Pathways to Health and Wellbeing. And because we wrote that book, and it was about the NLP applications uh, with health, yeah. we started getting many referrals. We, people would call us and say, my mother's ill, yeah. my sister has cancer, can you work with her? Well, we were already pretty busy as trainers traveling yeah. and, and using our technology to help people and we couldn't accommodate everybody who called. Yes. And we said, so what do we do about that? And that's when we came up with the idea to start offering a training based on the concepts in the book yeah. that we knew uh, would work for people and we said we'll we'll do the training we'll create people that know how to use NLP with health applications and then we have a referral network and that's where the idea of the world health community yeah. came from creating a network of people who had been taught specifically the applications in the health world yeah. and felt comfortable working with any kind of an issue that someone might call for. And then when people called us, we could say, sorry, we can't accommodate you. We do know somebody in your area yeah. that's been trained specifically in how to deal with health. Wow. So that's like, you know, dealing with uh, local the communities and That's also right, right. reaching out uh -huh. to more people without yes. you actually going there physically. Yeah, yeah. so at, at one point we had seven different locations where we were teaching the yeah. health certification training. We were so busy <laughs> yeah. in seven different areas of the world. Yeah. And, and it's like, okay, so we create this big network of people that can refer to each other mm -hmm. and, and that we can refer people to yeah. so that there are possibilities for them having assistance with their own healing yeah. in, in the world. So that's where the idea of the World Health Community came into play and we formed a, a not-for-profit not organization mm -hmm. where we lived so that people could join that organization. It had a website. Originally, it just had a little newsletter that one yeah. of the students did. And then they put a directory together that was on paper. This was back in the 90s. Back in the, day. <laughs> <laughs> back in the days. Yeah. And then, of course, they got a website and they yeah. started, they started a, a cross-fertilization program where we asked them to focus on a project while they were in their training, and then they would they would focus on a specific topic. Somebody would say, I'm really interested in allergies. Yeah. And we would say, oh, there's someone in Denmark that's also working on that. There's someone in Germany. And we would get those people together with each other wow. so they could share ideas of what they were discovering. Very nice. The real yeah. community then. Yes, yeah. yes. And you're also a trainer for the health certification training. Yes. What is it about the, this training? So could you tell us a little bit about it? Yes, well, the, it was designed to teach the concepts in that book we wrote in 1990. Yeah. And it's not that it's a lot of new material in the NLP, mm -hmm. it's taking the concepts that we know work for NLP, yeah. the basic concepts and saying, how do you deepen your understanding of mm -hmm. that yeah. so that when you are working with someone and you're doing NLP has a lot of techniques, step-by-step -step techniques you can do to make a difference. Well, yeah. they don't always work. If there is something deeper beneath what the person is yeah. working with. And so when that happens, and it often happens with health issues because mm -hmm. we're dealing with how the immune system works, yeah. and the immune system is about your identity. And that's different than changing a behavior. Yeah. If it's something that's been ingrained over time from the time you were very young and the way you think, how you think about yourself, not what you do or, or how you show up in the world, but who you are, yeah. oftentimes you have to do many different sorts of things to make a difference. Sure. Yeah. And so this training was designed to help people feel comfortable about using the concepts of NLP yeah. to mix and match 
many of the ideas they've gotten so that if they're going down one road and doing this with the person and it's not working, they go, okay, we else. need to pick up another concept yeah. here. We need to use a different model. We yeah. need to go deeper with this yeah. because what we're doing doesn't seem to be working. Yeah. So it was designed to make people feel very comfortable about their NLP skills and that there would be no content area yeah. that someone would bring to them that they couldn't begin to make a difference. And also improving their health and well-being at the right. same time? Well, yeah. it, it does because, yeah. well, we have this broad concept yeah. that not, there's nothing you do in life that doesn't impact your health and well-being. Mm -hmm. Whether it's on the job, in a social relationship, if it's a, a, about the way you use your physical body, um, if it's about your emotional state, anything you do is going to impact your, your yeah. health and well-being. Yeah. So it, it, it really relates to everything that you do. Yeah. And so we wanted people to understand that the broadness of that and so it's, we require that people be master practitioners at yeah. this point to take this so that they already have a solid base in NLP. Yeah. They understand anchoring, they yeah. understand meta programs, they get the neurological levels and those yeah. sorts of things so that then we can deepen their understanding and show them how to mix and match all those ideas together yeah. to get the outcomes somebody wants. Yeah. So they have, you know, ready access to all the tools That's and right. know exactly which tool to use That's in right. what situation. Uh -huh. yeah. Are you trained with uh, Robert Dills yes. and Tim Halvon? How uh -huh. is it to, to train with them? How is it to, well, you know, you know them for okay. a very long time. Yes. How is it to, to be to around them? I have to say, it was quite intimidating to begin with because yeah. I, I so respect the skills of these two men that I work with. Yeah. And you know, Robert Diltz has been involved with NLP from the very beginning as one of the original students. Yeah. And he's quite a genius at coming up with new ideas. And my strength, what I bring to the team, mm -hmm. the three of us, is being able to s make things simple and easy for everyone to understand. Yeah. Because it wasn't always easy for me to get the concepts. Yeah. I'm more a large chunk thinker yeah. and, and, and you know and so for me to get the small chunks and be able to to say how can I put this in simpler ways so that everybody that takes this training feels smart yeah. and like they get the concepts yeah. and and then I bring maybe some whimsy to it because I like to <laughs> get the groups to sing and dance and move and yeah. I tell lots of stories mm -hmm. so what I really enjoy is that the three of us have all very different styles yeah. and different ways of thinking, and yet there's honor and respect so that we can put our ideas together and yeah. make something that's even bigger because the three of us come from different backgrounds. Yeah, wonderful. And what is the role of spirituality within the health certification training? Oh. Well, when I first started in NLP, yeah. we didn't talk so much about spirituality. It was like, maybe, uh, no, we don't want to go there. Mm -hmm. um, we're talking about changing people's behavior and their thinking processes. Yes. And then we realized that, that when, you're, when you're dealing with a, a person's immune system that identifies what's important to them, you can't ignore this notion of spirituality. Mm -hmm. It's a place you can go for resources. When it's hard to put things into words mm -hmm. and, and to find, well, what I need here is confidence. That's what people say, confidence. Yeah. And you go, so what does confidence get for you? When you, yeah. when you feel confident, how is that of value to you? And you realize if you go deeper and deeper, then you can really impact the person's immune system. Yeah. And you can call on internal states that are not explainable, yeah. that go even deeper to help a person heal yeah. some big issue that they might be needing to heal. So it plays a very important role as far yeah. as I'm concerned. All right.